Tondo is a mega slum. It's people on top of people and it's a difficult place to live in. Here at the moment as MSF, we have a TB program. TB is a curable and preventable disease. TB should not be existing in countries such as the Philippines, but the reality is it is killing still 70 people a day in this country. How is that possible? Because TB is something that shouldn't be killing people anymore in this day and age. We're trying as best as we can to address ending TB by 2030. So we really want the involvement of the community so that they own the program, so that they themselves realize that like, wait a minute, you're right. Like we shouldn't be suffering with TB anymore. Like we can do something to stop TB ourselves. We're done to X-ray. And I'm working with a whole bunch of like amazing team. It's such a great team day in and day out. They think big picture and then they're also in the field doing it. You know, like like when I say the field, Tondo is not an easy place to go to. This is a team that is, you know, the compassion is there. They feel for their people. They are smart. They understand the strategy to use artificial intelligence to be able to seek um, so find TB diagnose them early by using um, reliable available um, laboratory tests and then linking them to treatment and then preventing the spread of TB by investigating the contacts and encouraging them to start preventive treatment Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. immune system po yung mga resistensya is hindi pa ganun ka well developed or wala pa. So we've got a full house of children, uh, basically. That's one family, they're all living together, and one person in their family has been diagnosed with tuberculosis. So now my team has come uh, into their house so that then their children get started on what we call as preventive treatment. Um, the reason that we do that is because, of, obviously, if you live in the same household as somebody with TB, your likelihood to be to catch TV is quite high. Yay! All very good. Yes, This is really a very clear visualization of why Tondo in Manila has such a high rate of positive TB cases because you're living on top of each other. Like at home, this would be not even the living room. And you've got almost seven people, eight people living in this very, very uh, small space. And this is the reality in this location. So yeah, lots of people living on top of each other. For us as MSF, we do the, the, the best we can with what we have. You know, we try and influence policy. We, we do operational research on feasibility of using artificial intelligence. So if we're able to get this into policy that countries use this, it would mean a lot for them to be able to quickly screen for TB. So that we can do as MSF. It's a drop in the ocean, but it's a big drop. Mingo, apple. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news. Click the subscribe button below We check out one of these videos and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.